Hello guys, welcome to Apex Hours. Thank you so much for joining us today. We really appreciate you taking time out of your busy schedule. So today we're gonna discuss about Marketing Cloud Connect and it will be more like a hands-on session where I will show you connection between Salesforce CRM to Marketing Cloud from scratch. So it may possible I will land up into some error and we will fix it uh, while I'll be presenting. So it will also help you to troubleshoot if you may occur or if you see the same error. Okay, so let's start. Let's moving on to the slide. Uh, a brief introduction about me. I'm Web of Kaushik. I've been part of Marketing Cloud ecosystem since last two years and prior to this technology, I've been working with Sales and Service Cloud technology and I can tell you that moving from sales and service to marketing cloud so far it's a nice experience and let's see how it goes further. Our agenda today is to definitely discuss what is marketing cloud connect and how to connect both the clouds service sales cloud sales cloud and marketing cloud. How, sending an email from Salesforce using marketing cloud okay and then synchronize the data between both further I will show you how you can leverage journey builder uh, which is a key tool of marketing cloud where we will use Salesforce data and send out any email uh, from a marketing cloud later on you can also see there is a tracking and reporting which definitely a salespeople can use for their 360 degree view of customer so now let's first maybe the first question which you want to understand is why marketing cloud connect so marketing cloud connect as i would say it, it creates or it enhances our customer experience as you know we cannot expect our sales team to design the best marketing strategy for organization and vice versa is also true like we cannot expect our marketing team to design some strategy to increase the sales but uh, both are integral part and if both can connect in a way where customer will see a seamless experience that will do wonder that what I believe so uh, how it helps basically so let's say uh, there is a sales team and they want to send out certain emails for different products so our marketing team can design a particular marketing strategy where they can leverage those emails and create a seamless experience further at marketing cloud side our marketing cloud team can easily target the customers and personalize messages to them using our CRM data directly in marketing cloud as I told you that data can be synchronized between both clouds so let's start and I will just show you how to make a connection between both clouds and later on we can see. So there are definitely few uh, prerequisite and install packages which I will show you actually on the go. So you need not to worry. However, there are certain considerations which you can see over here. But uh, majorly right now we are not going to cover multi-org connection. So it will be one-to-one. -one. So while you're doing a one-to-one -one connection like one Salesforce org to connection uh, to one marketing cloud business unit, then there are nothing much uh, to discuss. So let's just start. Let's just move on. However, I do have created a document where I have mentioned each and every step which you can take and that will help you to create a smooth connection between both the clouds without worrying much so let me just show you that show you the same over here sorry my bad and okay so I will also share these two documents with you and uh, in every, uh, maybe in a YouTube link and you can also download that and use it and just follow step by step and I think you should it should be done so definitely our first step is to install a managed package a managed package of marketing cloud so I'll just copy this and let me just tell you before we proceed so here I have taken two complete new org so one org which is 
for developer purpose you can see that I just spin, spin off today and I also have a pretty new business unit for my marketing cloud okay it is completely almost new business unit so we will work uh, between both and I will show you how to get a connection done so as I told you the first step first first we need to install a managed package so I'll just show you how to do that okay so right now I'm just doing it for install for admins only you can definitely go for install for all users or install for specific profiles and I'll say yes grant access to all third-party websites so these all endpoints belong to marketing cloud so we can definitely trust them okay so it may take a while and probably uh, it should be done pretty soon so probably after some time you may see this this app is taking a long time to install you can click on done and we will be back over here so once package will be installed we will definitely see it over here so let me just refresh it a couple of times and let's see if it will starting appear one moment please so meanwhile it is taking some time I can just walk you through quickly to the to the document which 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 we gonna follow to connect both clouds so here after this installation is done we will go to user page layout and we will add these two fields on the same afterwards we will definitely either uh, it's up to you you can create a separate administrative user or you can you use the one which you already have if if in case you have and then we need to give these both permission for that particular user and afterwards what we're gonna do we will go to marketing cloud and we will see if the Salesforce integration is working and then we will create one API user in marketing cloud with giving him admin and MC admin marketing cloud admin admin role afterwards in order to create a successful authentication we need to configure connected app which will come by default with this installed package however we do need to modify these three settings once that part is done it seems like we need to provide a permission set for our admin user which we created at the step three okay and once that part is done then we can go to marketing cloud and open API user and try to connect okay and by this step both cloud at least be in a connected state so let's just go back to our page and see if we got our installed package done so let me refresh it one more time okay so it is taking some more time so let's just wait and we will see once package is here okay so we do see that now our packages started appearing so I believe we can proceed with the next step so as I told you the next step would be to modify user page layout first so we will go to user object and we will modify its page layout okay so here we go and I'll go to page layout I will Add it the one which we have. So as I have mentioned over there, so there are these two uh, fields basically: marketing cloud for app exchange admin, marketing cloud for app exchange user. So these two I'm gonna pick and I will add it somewhere under those fields. Okay. So okay so one is here and another one is here all right and all I need to do is to save so this part is done now next step was to assign the theme to my user so as of now I have or uh, as I told you this is my new org so I have only one administrator user this is the one so I will edit this and assign these two new fields permission to this user so I just click on add it and I'm here <clears throat> all I need to do uh, I need to assign these two check boxes to this user okay here we go 
so as I told you after doing this uh, the next step would be we can move to marketing cloud so here is my so as I have mentioned that after adding both permissions over here we would move to marketing cloud so now here we go here it is my marketing cloud org and I will hover over here and then go to setup and I must go to apps then click on Salesforce integration okay and I'll click on add it so you see there is an option which is suggesting that upgrade to connected app and as I've shown you before in the in our steps which I would definitely gonna provide you after this session so after doing this step we would definitely needs to provide few permissions to connect it up so I'll show you everything but let's just click on this upgrade to connected app and you will see so I clicked on it and it is showing like connect account so which account I want to connect to so you you need to click on this uh, you can read this I know what it's saying so right now I'm just click on OK and my pop-up is blocked OK sorry about that so let me click on it one more time so it will ask me to enter my uh, username and password okay so it has taken my different session my bad so let me look out from one of my session give me a moment I'll do that on other screen so you may not able to see that okay so I have logged out from there let me see that if it helps now I'll click on connect account one more time click OK so okay here we go so it is asking me to enter my username and password so what we need to do here so the account which we were configuring over here I'll use this username and password and let's see how it goes so I'll click this and I'll enter my username and password okay so I'll say yes so all set I'll go back over here it is loading you can see that and it is showing connected and uh, even it picked up my organization ID and this is the user okay so the next step is to create an API user within marketing cloud so you will go to again back to setup go to users and I will click over here and create a new user real quick it won't take much I think so okay so I click on create so name uh, okay I'll give my name but I'll say web of API so I can recognize this and reply email address okay let me use my official one not a big deal you can give whatever you want to where you will get notified where you will receive uh, uh, identity uh, check codes and all okay so okay I'll remove this and username I'll keep username simple I'll say fab of underscore API I've used this before for different purpose okay and this is the important part when I say we need to create an API user inside marketing cloud uh, the the most important thing is to check this box that's it and as of now I give one temporary password and I will verify the same okay so all set and I click on save so after this you need to assign roles as well to this user so you what you can do you can again click on this users link you can click a checkbox in front of this user and I'll go to manage roles and I'll click on edit roles so as I told you we need to assign administrator as well as marketing cloud administrator so these two roles uh, are needed to set up this successfully 
Okay, so here we go. Uh, it's almost set. So actually the next thing what we need to do, so let me just show you over here so you will get better idea around this. So once now I click on this user, you will see there is a one field which is salesforce.com status and if I click on this integrate option, right now it will not work uh, but I can just uh, show you so uh, you, will, you will get better understanding of errors and everything. So I will choose the, I will copy username one more time. Uh, where I want to connect to, I click on this, I click on save setting and it may fail. Okay, you can see that, right? So basically this is failing because we need to put certain in certain permissions into connected app. So now let me take you over there. So I go back here, I go to apps from here, I will open connected apps. So uh, right now I only have one connected app over here uh, so uh, maybe you have plenty so you need to make sure you need to identify this one Salesforce marketing cloud okay I click on that so uh, the permissions which I'm gonna change I will first show you so you will get better understanding so you will have this document with you every time because definitely I'll, I'm gonna share it with you so one first thing we need to do is to admin approved and second is relax we need to relax IP restrictions and uh, for the fresh token we need to choose this okay so let me just quickly do all three so I'll click on edit policies so first I'll do admin approved users are pre-authorized okay yeah I do understand and from here we need to do relax as you know right and for refresh token policy we need to use immediate expire refresh token okay so these are the three things which we need to do I'll click on save so now as you know we have chosen this admin approved option over here so definitely we need to assign some profile or permission set so uh, to whom this permission set will be given those users should be able to access this connected app so now let me do one thing real quick I need to I can create a permission set real quick uh, maybe from different tab let me do it from here okay permission is failing okay permission sets okay I click on new I'll give some name uh, let's say what you want to give let's say you want to give marketing cloud connected app okay and uh, uh, don't uh, don't use any license uh, so that's fine we, we need not to use any license and uh, what I'm gonna do I will assign this permission set to my uh, user uh, so basically I go back to my users and uh, so this is the user right now I'm using and I'll assign this permission permission set so I'll go to edit assignment and here marketing cloud connected app add save and of course I need to give this over here as well marketing cloud connected app so I'll say save okay so I believe that was it uh, which I need so let me just see that and now if it will allow us so here we have the same thing and I'll click on save settings uh, let me just refresh sometimes it happens so one moment let me just quickly refresh this okay so it is refreshing okay so let me try one more time from here uh, we will see if it, it still feels or something like that I click on integrate so we need to give a username so this is my user yep here we go so it is showing integrated so definitely everything is all set so as I told you so after this place 
whatever the steps we have taken so we can see that this api user is connected uh, or basically i would say this particular user of ours this user is connected to marketing cloud right now successfully integrated and as well as if you had noticed while we have initially set up our marketing cloud so at this page we had the salesforce integration is also gets connected state so basically both clouds are in a connected state as of now but in order to leverage in order to leverage things which i've told you such as oh we're gonna we we need to send an email or we need to synchronize the data and everything so for that we need to take certain more steps Oh, which are not that much uh, lengthy those are also uh, like I believe five to six steps so I do create a document around the same as well which I'll share as well with you so you will have everything handy so this is what